Hi everybody, it's me, Daniel Gomez again, here for another uh, Styx album CD review with uh, this one, Crystal Ball. And, um, well, let, let's give you a good, clear look at the, you know, there you go. In the back. <sighs> and let's look more at the inside. Okay. And, uh, like I said before, the CD doesn't matter because, well, just to show you what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this, this CD itself doesn't look that cool because it doesn't, excuse me. Anyway, the CD doesn't look that cool, uh, because it, this, because it, it doesn't show the Sticks logo and, you know, and and I had to fix something on my phone for a second. So, yeah, it was on my way uh, of covering my face. So, anyway, so, and I'm, yeah, I'm using my phone to do this video. Um, so, anyway, uh, um, <coughs> my favorite songs from this album are the... The title song, um, uh, Crystal Ball, of course. Uh, Mademoiselle. Yeah, Mademoiselle is another favorite of mine. But my main, f my biggest favorite from this album is Crystal Ball, the title song. And excuse me for a second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I had to make sh I had to check to see for another song that could be my favorite from this Crystal Ball album and uh, and uh, and I guess I don't know I guess it's not on the song is not on a greatest hits album and I don't think Styx performed it live um, it was a it was a song that I was going to to say called shoes with an with a Z at the end not an S but anyway yeah, I, I looked up everything, and I don't think Styx performed Shoes on uh, 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 on stage or live, whatever. I looked up everything, and... Uh, but put a comment below. Tell me, it, tell me on a comment below if Styx actually performed the song Shoes uh, on, uh, on stage uh, live, you know. Uh, comment, comment down below if they performed a song called Shoes because I really want to know and uh, because I look I try to look it up if they performed it live or if it was on a greatest hits package album you know but but no no I I don't think so I never found it so yeah so so only only a stick song is my favorite unless the band perform it on stage and if it's also in a greatest hits album so anyway, um, all I can say is Crystal Ball and Mademoiselle are my favorite stick songs from this uh, album. And, um, <clears throat> and of course, uh, when John Serluski, their one of their original guitar players, or the original guitar player, I'm sorry, quit the band after when they did uh, Equinox, which I did before, uh, on CD on and about that album itself, you know, and and Equinox was the first uh, A and M Records uh, album that the band did, and uh, when they were about to go on the road, uh, uh, John Serluski uh, quit. Um, James J Y said that he quit because Dennis was becoming more dominant to the band, and so it made. Jay, it made uh, John Sulewski unhappy, 
but a lot of people have claimed that John Stolusky quit because he did not want to perform on stage because he's going to be away from his family and so forth. I guess John Stolusky is used to playing in clubs and, you know, and being with his family. So, um, you know, I don't blame the guy, you know. So, <clears throat> so then... <coughs> excuse me. So then... <coughs> So then one of their tour managers had found a guy uh, from, a, from a beginning rock band. Um, uh, and when they brought him in, of course, that guy turned out to be Tommy Shaw. And, um, and, uh, and it's funny, um, they, yeah, they used him because they said he had great hair. He played the guitar uh, basically to show some showmanship on it as he plays very good on it and to, you know, just like a real rock and roll guitarist, you know. And it's funny, uh, Dennis DeYoung also said that he also had to come in and be able to sing the high harmonies or the high parts of, uh, the high, the high part, high note of Lady as well. And, you know, so all of those combinations worked. And of course, you know, and they, they made this album, Crystal Ball, and it would, and Crystal Ball itself is the uh, um, where we discovered Tommy Shaw, and um, you know, and and of course he wrote the main title itself and produced it, and you know, and it was a good song, and yeah, so yeah, um, really good history behind Crystal Ball itself, the album, the uh, the making the album that is. Okay, so <clears throat> so anyway, that was my review of uh, Crystal Ball album on CD and I'll be back with the next Styx album which is The Grand Illusion. So this is Daniel signing off.